careful, Sean. <laughs> Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another EBS vlog. My name is Haywood, aka Where I Saw This Man. Haywood, why are you holding this piece of glass? If you saw yesterday's vlog, you would know that it is hot out here every morning. The sun is in my face, see that? You see that? It's just it's just always staring at me. I'm so done with it, bro. So what I decided to do was just put the photo sink on a piece of glass, and boom, I can shade myself. Look at this. It's so much more comfortable now. Hi. That guy you saw me was like, what the f doing you're like crazy as hell you're holding a piece of glass that you're talking to this <laughs> looking thing and, but i was saying earlier yeah so i have photo sync on this piece of glass here you can't really tell because it's so clear but it is on there can you see it but i was saying boom so it's blocking heat it's shading me from the sun from that burning sensation like herpes or chlamydia or crabs or whatever it is i don't know i don't have those anyways guys yo you haven't yet hit the subscribe button join the ebs crew um but yeah let's get back inside so sick guys so happy with how it came out and off she goes. Sick setup, guys. I kind of like the model through the T logo in the front hood. Oh, we're putting it back on. Dang it. Okay, so we're in the process of clear browing the full front of the Tesla Model 3, but we're now working on the hood. So we're doing a custom EVS hood, and what that means, guys, is we're basically bulking the whole hood down. There's no relief cuts. It's going to look as seamless as possible to make it look like there's no film on the hood. Now, a lot of people think this is also called wrapped edges, which it is in a way. However, this is a little bit more detailed than a wrapped edge. When we bulk the hood, meaning we lay a blank sheet of film on the hood, we're hand trimming the whole thing ourselves, so we have a little more control over it. It's a lot harder, it takes a lot more time, but the end result is a much more virtually seamless setup. Alright, so I know what you're thinking. You're probably like, okay, Haywood, what's the big deal? Why does it matter there's relief cuts or there is or there isn't? What's the big deal, right? And the answer to that really is, it depends on you. Relief cuts help installers lay down the film a lot easier and spend a lot less time doing so and it still helps you almost achieve seamless look. However, of course, if you're super meticulous, then you'll still notice it. Ultimately, it just comes down to you and your budget and just what standards you want to have for your car. There is no right or wrong option. It just depends on, you know, if you notice things like that or if you don't. And if you don't, then perfect. You can save some money. But if you're looking for the best coverage and you just want to make it look as seamless as possible, then now you know there's an option that goes way beyond that. You want to know what it's like to vlog right after you take a... <laughs> now you know. The first step to the chrome delete finished. Now we're working on the window trims. Ready done? Oh, the top is already done. Yo, guys, you guys see this transformation is happening? The black interior, the white seats, the sand black window trim with the red. Oh, it's coming along looking so good. Good. This is gonna look super sporty. So what have you been doing the last few days we haven't seen you, bro? Don't let them see each other. Don't let them see each other. Don't. Sean, whatever you do, don't look over there. What? Will? 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 Damn. Wait, wrong school. Sean, Will. 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 Be careful. Will. Sean. <laughs> We're lifting the back end of this Raptor. Ever since we did the 2.0 Fox Shots conversion, the fronts are now higher than the back, so we're putting a little two-inch block in the back just to lift it out a little bit more. Cool, so we're done with the leveling on the Raptor now. It is looking even, so that's good, that's all we needed. Will got done with the paint correction on the Challenger, so now we are getting ready to clear bra the full front end. The car is relatively new, and so we want to keep it looking that way, right? Will? With the day, deeply inhale the ceramic coating Gives you superpowers. Well, I expected a professional detail like yourself, do you actually have a flashlight, not like a phone a little flashlight? Well, I could use that light too, but I like the way this light on iPhone works. I need a tip of the day. You know, when I play the intro music, you have to do a tip. Not yet. Just a tip, just a tip, just a tip with me. What are you doing, bro? What? Oh, you're doing straight oh. coding. Hey, he shows how to do it. Sure. Cool, so show me, show me, show me. All right, so we apply, I'm going to be doing this area, okay. or this half of that part. Okay. And so I think this is gonna take maybe two dabs. So we're gonna two do dabs. one and two. Uh, what? What was, what was that? That was a dab. No, I, what? What was that? A dab. Why did you? 
That's the proper application if you want perfect bondage on the paint. I, I, I get that. You did that on the pad, but why did you dab? I'm kind of confused, Will. But why? So, Will, was, was that the tip, dude? Yes. Whoosh. Hey Will, are you sure you have to dab every time you dab? Yeah, because if I don't, then you won't get proper installation. I mean, that's the proper procedure. Wait, how many times did I dab? Uh, I, I don't know. Oh, God. All right, all right, all right, I got this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So doing the front windshield of Mod 3 is very, very intricate. If you don't do it right, you can run into a lot of issues. So there's a lot of precautions that go into it. But we've been doing the Model 3 front windshield since March of 2018. So kind of got our hands on it. But if you're not in Houston and you want to get your front windshield tinted, you just gotta make sure whoever you go to is very experienced with the Tesla, especially Model 3s. But if you are in Houston and you want to get it done right, just let me know that. Yes, crew. This is the 4P6 wheel from 4Play and as you can see it's a 6 spoke design which I really like especially for trucks I feel like 6 spoke wheels are definitely the way to go if you want something that's really rugged and aggressive This is the 22 by 12 with the negative 44 offset I think the perfect offset if you're going to go 22 by 12 It gives you that nice deep concavity which I'll show you in a little bit so The finish that we have here is this gunmetal finish that's on the windows and on the edges of the spoke but the face here is a brushed aluminum. I really like this finish because if you're trying to go for like a classy look for your truck or like a luxury look, this is a perfect finish to go with. More than likely, your truck has some chrome on it anyways, so this color scheme can play off of that fact that you have chrome already. So here's a close-up of the wheel. In the middle, of course, you get your center cap, this nice big bulky center cap. As I mentioned before, this is a gloss gunmetal with a brushed aluminum face. So you can see the gunmetal here and even on the sides of the spokes. But in the face though is this brush aluminum gloss clear. You can see the lines that they have in there. So that's kind of cool. Nice little detail. This is a one piece wheel. So the hardware isn't actually doing anything. It's just more for cosmetic reasons and just to give you that two piece look. But let me just try to show you the concavity of this wheel. Look how deep the wheel goes in. Isn't that crazy? That's nuts. That negative 44 offset, that's the way to go, dude. Look at that. Ooh, it's so deep. Yeah, that's what she said. Okay, so we finished up the Model 3 clear bra. Full front end is done. Man, I like how it looks without the T logo in the middle. It looks so much cleaner. What do you guys think? It has the EVS custom hood to it, so no relief cuts anywhere on the hood. Sean has already started on the Chrome Delete, and as a matter of fact, he's almost done. Uh, we got the Chrome Delete done on the little fender badges there. The mirrors he still needs to finish up on, but he has his part done. Uh, window trims are done, as you can see, and the door handles, and he has, has a little back piece right there. I mean, just looking from here, yeah, it's looking sporty as fuck. Back to the Hellcat. We actually have clear bra on the car now. If you're familiar with the Challengers, you know there's vents in the hood. We took out the vents so we can wrap the film inside. That way, when we pop the vents back on, you hopefully won't see that line. We're trying to make it look as seamless as possible. You can imagine having bugs it kills on a daily basis. <laughs> Tyler's Porsche isn't even this wide and they killed a the dragonfly, so imagine this. <laughs> Alright, so the super came to us with low, low gas. So I think we'll get gas in it to fill it up. I will see you at the gas station unless I get kidnapped or something. Who knows? I couldn't feel myself driving there because that wouldn't be safe. So instead, I found a Fast and the Furious clip that I'm going to play now for you that really resembles my drive to the gas station. As you can see, I got a slow ass pump, man. I feel like I should do one of those really stereotypical car guy Instagram posts where I post a picture of my car getting gas. Half just like, she thirsty. I've been here for like a while now and look how slow this pump is. Yo, I gotta get another pump, man. This is ridiculous. I'm gonna try the next pump and see if I can go faster with it because this is just like forever. All right, I'm at the next pump and it's going way faster as you can see, so we good. Yesterday, I already talked about the Novara Vorschauer a Huracan kit. What I didn't mention was the whole car is also covered in clear bra. Even the wing. We even clear bra these carbon fiber vents. Each vent you see here is protected. Now let's talk about the wheels. So these are ADV1 wheels. Custom made forged wheels made for this Huracan. The finish in the middle is satin black. The outer edge here was color matched the exact same Lamborghini color. I really like this wing. Obviously a lot of supercars have super aggressive wide 
obnoxious big wings and they should they should because they're supercars right you want to make a statement but i like how this wing is a little bit more subtle it's lower it's more in line with the car it's not as wide or as big and i love the struts too super clean it just looks really classy it doesn't seem like you're trying to show off or you're trying to flex or anything it's just like look at me i got a carbon fire wing but you know no big deal mbd mbd that is it Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't yet, hit the subscribe button. Join the EBS crew. Yo, we want to work on your car, guys. Our content info is in the description down below. Let me know what you need. I will take care of you because you are part of the EBS crew. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.